What is get shifted? To get shifted literally means to switch, to move, to get out of, into, away from, towards something. How do we get shifted? Well, we get shifted in a variety of ways. Sometimes we get shifted unintentionally. You know, a loved one passes away and all of a sudden we're thinking, oh my God, I'm not doing enough with my life. You've shifted. Something literally changed that you didn't see coming. You didn't know you were going to feel that way, but now your actions are moving you further towards something that you want for your life. You're no longer stuck where you were before. Other times, maybe you get laid off from a job, or maybe you gain a lot of weight and you don't know how to get back to where you used to be, or maybe you've had health problems that have caused you to compromise and be less active than you were. And maybe you feel stuck because you're living on what used to be and potentially you can't turn the corner into this new space that you're in. Getting shifted is about moving out of that area. And how do you do that? Well, everybody's formula is different. What I'm not going to offer you is a one, two, three, and ABC formula on how to get shifted. But first, what you have to do is reflect on where you might be stuck. Now, there are some areas where you won't even see it that you may want to inquire of those that you love, of coworkers, of friends, of parents, on areas where they believe you're either holding back or you need to move and you're not moving. It could be around relationship, a confidence, a career, sexism or racism. It could be around your mindset, how you judge people that you're sort of stuck in this outwardly focused area. There's so many areas where we could be stuck, where we can get shifted and open an incredible amount of doors for our future. The reason why I started Get Shifted was recognizing the shifts in myself and then identifying more shifts. The reason why shifted is spelled with a Y in the middle and an ID at the end is it's about identifying your shift, identifying the area where you need to move. Now you may get some feedback for part of the process that we're going to embark on, if you choose to embark on it, that you don't agree with. And that's fine. The goal is not to convert your way of thinking or to make you see something that you don't. It is for you to recognize and your soul to be reflective and then to own it, right? Without judgment. There's a lot of reasons we stay stuck. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed. Sometimes we are stuck in grief. Sometimes we don't know where to begin. Sometimes we're ashamed. Other times we are insecure and we don't think that we have the gifts or what it takes to move forward to where we want to go. We don't like the process. We potentially are not willing to make the sacrifice that it takes to move. Now, in those cases, I want you to own that too. I want you to own areas where you want to move away from or into, but you know that you're not going to and stop dwelling in it. Because if there's an area where you're not going to move, then let's check that off and move on. It may come up for you at another time. You may get unintentionally shifted in that particular area. So I'm so excited about this. I have watched people get shifted again, intentionally or unintentionally. Sometimes when we get unintentionally shifted, like I mentioned before, if someone passes away or if you lose a job or if you have health issues, even though you want to move, you have the motivation to move, we don't always know what the next step is or how to act. So it's easier said than done sometimes to say, oh, I feel, you know, it's in my spirit. I'm different. I'm different. Well, how is that going to show up? And we're going to talk about that in getting shifted. Now, we're going to have to shut out some of the noise, right? We're going to have to get rid of those societal labels, take the label off the table. We're going to have to do some value identification. But at the end of the day, stuck leads to regret. Because what happens? 
we look back and we say, oh, I can't believe I still didn't start that. I still didn't write that book. I still didn't start my degree. I'm still eating the same way I used to eat. I'm still thinking the same way I used to think. I still feel negativity a lot. I still hang around people who get on my last nerve. I'm still in a relationship that is not building me up. I am still self-sabotaging. I am still speaking to myself negatively. So when we stay stuck and we ignore these things, it just builds and builds and builds until we get to a point sometimes where we feel so overwhelmed, we feel so ashamed, we feel so insecure that we're paralyzed. But we're not, we don't have to be paralyzed. You don't have to be paralyzed. I don't have to be paralyzed. You can get shifted. You can move. You can move. You're going to move. So join me. January 26th is the official launch date of Get Shifted. We will also be doing um, some online launching. And I'm, j- I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited about me getting shifted. I'm excited about you getting shifted. And, and the beauty is you don't have to pick every area in your life at one time. The process of getting shifted is what we want in our spirit so that the next time we feel stuck, we have tools to move out, to get unstuck, to get shifted. Isn't that amazing? I think it's amazing. I'm excited about it. I hope you'll join me and uh, and let's go. 2019, we're moving. We are getting shifted.